divide using short division, 392 divided by 7. Okay, so remember in short division, we set up the same box as we, were, as we used in our long division. And our dividend goes in there, and our divisor goes out there. Okay, so our first step of division, we look at the biggest place value. Well, that's a 3. 7 is bigger than a 3, so we're going to look up our first two place digits. Okay, so we're doing 39 divided by 7, or how many 7s fit in 39? Okay, it doesn't go evenly, but let's see what's closest. Um, 7 times 5 is 35. 7 times 6 is 42. Okay, so 42 is too big. So 7 times 6, 6 is too, mu too many. So we'll have to do 7 times 5. So we'll put the 5 there. And 5 times 7 is 35. So we're going to do that subtraction in our heads. The 39 minus 35, well that's 4. So this 4 here, we're going to put in front of the next place value, the next digit in the, that we're dividing by, okay? Right? Instead of in the long division when we write out all the subtractions, instead of doing that, we're doing the division in our head, and then we're putting that whatever's left over in front of the next place value. So then our next step of division would be 42 divided by 7. 42 divided by 7, that goes evenly, right? 7 times 6 is 42. So we put a 6 there above the 2. All right, so then our quotient is 56. Right? So short division makes it kind of cleaner. We don't have to write out as many steps because a lot of the steps that we're doing, we can do in our head, or if you need to, you can write out you could write out the subtraction if you really need to. And then you take that left, what's ever left over, and put it in front of the next place value. And at the end, well, we put 7 goes in evenly into 42, so we're all done here. There's also no place values left to use. All right, 392 divided by 7 is 56.